Particle accelerators are powerful scientific tools that are used for research in many fields. In particle physics at the highest and most intense energies, in nuclear physics, in material science, and in biology and chemistry. One of the most common methods for accelerating particles is with superconducting radio frequency cavities. These SRF cavities build up strong electric fields that increase the energy of bunches of particles in a beam. And because they are made of superconducting materials, they only dissipate a tiny amount of power in their surfaces. The superconducting radio frequency technology provides very high voltages over these short distances at very low losses, at very low RF power losses, which means that you can leave on the radio frequency and the accelerating voltage, you can leave it on for all the time. Large SRF facilities currently under construction include a neutron source in Sweden, nuclear physics experiments in Michigan and Korea, and X-ray lasers at SLAC in California and DESI in Germany. Superconducting RF has been developed for application in linear accelerators over the last uh, 20 years with a goal in mind to really achieve the very highest energies to study the basic components of the universe. And it's been also found to be adaptable for different kinds of accelerators or different kinds of science. And this, the accelerator working on at Stanford is just such a, a, a LINAC which operates in the steady state or CW mode for material science. The developments to allow this technology to reach higher and higher energies go hand in hand with that. And with the work that we now have underway, we have every intention of making an uh, industrial, uh, practical technology capable of purposes of high energy, uh, high energy physics. One proposed accelerator, the International Linear Collider, would use thousands of cavities to create particle collisions at extremely high energies. Researchers could perform in-depth studies of the Higgs boson, recently discovered at the Large Hadron Collider, and search for physics beyond the standard model. So now we're set up to do a detailed exploration, to take our tweezers and pick out these particles one by one and really understand their properties in great detail. The machine that will do it is this one that you see behind you based on the superconducting RF technology that's being developed here at Fermilab. 